Good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing fabulous. Let's move the body, the bones. Bones, let's talk about bones. Bone marrow inside your bone is full of liquid and blood. This bone marrow is produced more as you use your muscle, work it out, and as your muscle squeezes that bone, that's how we create more bone marrow. Fabulous bone marrow means healthy, strong bones. Osteo something or other. Okay, my friends, let's warm it up a little. I wanted to give y'all some handstands. We'll see where it goes. Sometimes I don't know where this is going and we just move, okay? Let's get into it. Here we go. For beginning, we'll just start breathing. And exhale. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale. Just gonna warm up my legs. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Release my hands behind the back and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. I'm hitting a warrior one for side, breathing in. And exhale. Breathing in. I really wanted to um, play with a tiny bit of pranayama. Pranayama means breath exercise, breath retention. So let's just do three, okay? We're going to breathe in. Now you can change the numbers. Basically you want to make the exhale six times longer than the inhale. If that's too much, you can do three times, okay? So I'm gonna take the breath in and let's count. Breathing in. I breathe in for five, so I'm gonna exhale for 15. Old. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. As we continue doing pranayama, that's just an example, the breath retention, those spots where you have to hold, because you're breathing out until you're like empty, empty, empty. You're like, ah. I like really have to spit out that last bit of breath, nose, mouth, whatever. Um, there's these moments, uh, they're very uncomfortable. So don't get me wrong. They're supposed to be uncomfortable because 
there's no breath in, there's no breath out. These moments are in um, yoga philosophy known as these very blissful moments. They might be one second. They might be three seconds if you're lucky. Um, those moments bring us great clarity. Time and space means absolutely nothing for the yogi. That one second may feel like an hour. It might feel like a year. Um, so these are um, beautiful, wonderful, important things. Okay. So now let's move a little bit. I promised y'all some upside down stuff. Let's play with it. I wanted to show you um, uh, the rules in case you don't know nothing about it. If you do, hop on up and have some fun. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do this. All right. So, um, I just need to warm up the body a tiny bit more and then we're just going to hop into this. So let's do some sun salutations. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Woohoo. Okay. Ready? Inhale up. Exhale fold. Inhale look up. Exhale we'll step back. Chaturanga. Upper dog. Breath one. Breath two. Stomach in, shoulders wide. Breath three. And four. Look forward. My eyes are looking between my fingers, and then I'm going to bend the knees, bring the hips over the ears. Step or hop. Forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Okay? <laughs> Looks like my... I'll go over here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, look up. Exhale, downward dog. One breath. Navel in, stronger thighs, kneecaps up. We're on breath three. Stronger thighs. Try to push your heels into the earth or on a uh, like a rolled up mat or a rolled up towel, but we try to get those heels down as we try to hip bones up. We're lengthening the ears over towards your ears. Pull your stomach in. Last breath. Look between your hands. Bring your hips over more. Step or hop. And fold. I'm going to add our seat this time. Hips, bones in line with your knees. Arms come straight up. We breathe here. Exhale. This really reminds me of something. Let's talk about this. Sometimes, especially like at work and stuff, you can't be touching the floor. You have to have your shoes or boots on. And sometimes um, I have a lot of people telling you, oh, my back hurts. I stand a lot, my back hurts. So I'm gonna give you this little baby tidbit, okay? When in doubt, stick it out. That means we're gonna bring our feet back together, toes touch, knees touch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my caboose in line with my knees. I don't know if you can see that very well. My knees are in line with my butt. I'm trying to get all this, right? Here, for it might be harder with your feet together. So if you need more stability, you can have your feet apart. But I need your butt in line with your knees. And then we could either sit... I know it looks ridiculous, but we're sticking our butt out. You could use your arms on your legs to just kind of pause. That is um, less effort. Or you could bring your arms up. Now, the knees could be touching proper style. Or the knees can be wide if you're just going to be chilling for a while. Sometimes I just like taking this and taking it for like 10 minutes. When in doubt, stick it out. This pulls... What is, what's happening here? It's pulling the head of your femur bone back into your hip socket. And then it's elongating the spine forward releasing tension around the pelvis, creating ease to the lower back, okay? So if you're in ouch mode with your lower back, when in doubt, stick it out. Stick it out, okay? Boop. Now, 
I'm going to do a warrior two on each side, and then we're going to move right into what we're talking about. Because I promised you some handstands. Do we need more light? I think we need more white light. This is a warrior two. Physically, not metaphorically, but always metaphorically. But physically. Here we go. Is that a teensy bit better? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, honey. Let's do word two seconds back. Here we go. Knee is bent. Leg is long and straight. Word two. Look. Breathe. What is the strongest muscle going on in warrior two? That's right, it is the back quadricep, the back thigh, the back foot presses, the back thigh is strongest. It is not the front leg. A lot of people in the beginning will believe that they have to drain all their body's weight in that front leg, but it is not the truth. It's actually the back leg. We push our body weight back. Come on back. Bring it in. Okay, let's do inversion talk. First things first, positioning, the hands. Our hands will be middle fingers at 12 o'clock. Next thing. To enter into handstand, it requires fulcrum. Fulcrum for our skull and our head. That's what we're going to be using, some momentum. I tried to put the camera at an angle so that we could see. Hi, you're right exactly where we need to be. You're so sweet. Okay, so let's see if we could do this with Mr. Ted's in the house here. Okay, the hands are going to be pretty close to the wall, but not totally. I think I'm this far away, like a hands away from the wall, okay? Next thing. I'm gonna show you a side view because I think, you know, facing the wall, my butt's just gonna be in the way. So let's just look for a second. So it's gonna be kind of like, your hands are gonna be there. Thank you, mister. Your hands are gonna be there. I'm gonna pretend the wall is here. As your hands are there, the fulcrum is your head because we're gonna be moving. So as your head looks, my eyeball gaze or my drishti is going to look up the wall. So if my hands are here, my drishti is going to be like up here. With that, the skull, my head will be slightly tilted. So it's going to look something like this. From there, I'm going to bring my hips kind of over my hands and then we'll take one leg up and then you can hop okay you can take the other leg and then you can hop the wall is our friend and it's insurance that nobody gets hurt okay now you know you know the, the disclaimer you talk to your doctor don't do any of this stuff at home huh okay you know the drill here we go handstand palms Okay. Hands. Fulcrum. Looking up. My eyeballs looking up at the paint. I like to sometimes <clears throat> just touch gently the wall or just play. This leg likes it better. Even just the hopperoos are pretty amazing. Drishti still remains forward, and then we get longer. Pretend you have a, like a ball, tennis ball between your knees, and you want to squeeze.
how was that? Did you try it? I hope you pause and try it. Well, no, remember the disclaimer. So hopefully that was fun to watch and hopefully you got something of it, even though I know I'm turned around. So it's funny how just hopping, doing that hop really brings the body heat. I'm having fun with the hopperoos. I, I say, let's try this again. Did you see how I touched the little wall of my, my toe? Gentle. Okay, this is a big one. We want to use muscular energy to find soft, graceful landing and lifting so that we're not just slamming our body's weight on the floor. We're trying to actually be graceful about it. Um, in the beginning, we all slam hard on the floor. Later, what we're trying to do is be very light and use our muscles to not hit the floor so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna try that one. <sighs> that is fun. Okay, since we're playing at the wall, I want to do one of my favorite fun poses that I would always do after yoga class when everyone would leave and I had the space to myself to actually have um, me fun time. And right now that's all about uh, everything that I believe in right now. So <laughs> it's me fun time. Why? Because it's fun. Okay, here we go. This one, I believe starts here. My toes are touching the wall and my feet are on the floor. My shoulders are on the floor grounded. I'm gonna use my elbows to push the floor down and lift my hips up. And you can just stop here. Push, lift. I'm sneaking my shoulders under and lifting my hips. Some of us who do back bends, this is where you can straighten out your elbows. For those who want to play, take a toe, bring it on the wall or bring it up. Let's do the same thing, second side. Toe, wall. Toe, press, lift off. And then from there, you can go into split. Too much fun, too much fun. Let's try it again, second side. Elbows, hips, reach. Arms, elbows, straighten. <clears throat> second side, toe. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. How much fun can we possibly have? I'd say a lot. I want to do the turtle pose. Turtle, the heels are on the floor and they're wide and your butt bones are grounded. I want to do the turtle pose just because I am thinking of Susie and the Banshees. I think it's Spellbound, where she says, there's a lyric about, now she's in purple, now she's in purple, now she's a turtle, disintegrate. Oh, Christine. There you go. That's the name of the song. Starlight Girl. Okay, so because of Susie and Christine, sorry, my necklace is hitting the mic. Try to take it out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know it's so annoying. Oh, dear God, it's so annoying. All right. Turtle pose. Long straight legs, strong thighs, 
you're going to reach your tummy to the earth to create the turtle one little turtle arm goes under a leg and we push that arm down the other little turtle arm goes under the leg and we push that leg down maybe a chin on the earth press your heels out and breathe some of people can actually grab their hands behind their waist here uh, let's try that with our turtle legs bent knees arms through Hands try to reach. Rah. Mm, almost, I'm almost there. Come on, Christine. Sure, girl. Well, oh, I feel good. That really does feel good. Man, talk about deeper compressing the lower back and having fun with music. Whenever our legs are out, I love taking two fingers, bring it under the knees, pull your knees up, bring your feet in. We're going to do Supta Baddha Konasana again. This is to create healthy second chakra so that you are containing your sexual energy, and then you can only share it with the ones that are most important to you, or whatever it is that your plans are. But we do want to balance and heal all of our chakras and our emotional energies. The second one ties into power and sexuality and sensation and pleasure. And after a while, you start to per, uh, perhaps find that there is a balance that maintains your energy healthy and you will find what is appropriate for you, okay? So this pose helps to bring that energy down into the ovaries or the testes and we're bringing blood there and we're bringing movement of energy there. Why? Because we're breathing. <sighs> Exhale fold. Good. Please point your toes, try to press them on the earth, we're going to bring the arms back, and we're going to lift up for a inverted plank, breathing here. Gorgeous side planks. I'm going to press into my foot, let's see, can you see my foot? My foot is on the floor. I'm going to press onto the side. My hand is on the floor. I'm going to take my other one and step. We're going to lift. Maybe invite that leg up. Maybe invite a finger and toe to join us here. Whoa, drishti. Switching sides. Step onto your foot. Maybe just stay here. Maybe just stay here. Maybe ring it up. Maybe take it out. Sometimes it's fun to drop the foot back, lift the hips up, reach the hand back. Voila. Oh. oh, right. Did you guys get warmed up? I did. Oh, my hair is going to bust out a curl in about two seconds. I'm getting sweaty. But that's okay. My hair looks cute curly too. Anyway, y'all, let's do one more breathing. And we're going to wrap this up. We're gonna use the nostril breathing, okay? I'm gonna choose my my right nostril, and I'm going to press on it so it's shut. It's like closed. Breathing in through my left nostril. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Close. Shut. 
Other nostril opens. Exhale. Close. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Close. Opposite. Exhale. Hold. Close. Inhale through the opposite. Hold. Exhale the other side. Pause. Super dope, super dope. Full crumb, full crumb. Just play. In the end of the day. Oh, sorry, microphone. In the end of the day, it's just play. All right, y'alls. Have a gorgeous day. Namaste. That just really rhymed. I just had to do it. Sorry. I love y'alls. Keep your blood moving. Keep your bone marrow alive and healthy. We love bones. Yay, osteo. Os osteo. Bones are like osteo. Anyway, yay, bones. Yes. <laughs> That's me trying not to be too smiley. Just kidding. Take it easy.